Hello friends, wish you happy uh, Independence Day. It is the 75th uh, Independence Day. So today uh, I would like to discuss about the types of the organic light emitting diode. Already the working principle of the organic light emitting diode I have discussed. So how many types are there? Based on the applications, there, there are the different types of organic light emitting diode. Okay, first is the... Uh, let's see it. Matrix, passive matrix, OLED, right? So if this is the simple, one of the simple uh, OLED. So it is, it can be designed very simple technique. Uh, suppose uh, here is the, I am drawing the two different kind of the structures, right? So for designing OLED, main things uh, I have already told uh, that is uh, anode layer, cathode layer, and the in between anode and cathode, I have to deposit the main active layers. Okay. Uh, suppose here is the um, anode layer. Okay. This is the one kind of the anode strip. Uh, this should be transparent. Okay. So light should be emitted from the anode layer. Okay. Above this, suppose I am uh, depositing organic material active layer. Okay, above this, uh, in this way, I have to deposit the cathode layer. Okay, uh, this is like a cross bar structure. Intersection between anode and cathode layer, this gives the active area. This intersection, okay, gives the active area. Okay, and this is also known as a uh, pixel. If this is a one pixel. Okay, you can design, uh, you, you can choose a large substrate like a glass substrate. Above the glass substrate, you can pattern the anode strip in a multiple pattern. You can do after that, you, have, you can deposit the active layer and uh, multiple active, active layer. It's up to you and applications. Okay, so multiple active layer you can deposit, and above this, you can uh, deposit a one strip of multiple strip of the cathode. Okay. So this, this will be like a, um, suppose uh, if you see the entire structure, this will be like, this is crossbar structure, so, so many matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in general, I, I think you can see 9 matrix, 9 pixels you can create, okay. This is a 1 pixel and if you see the vertical structure, okay, anode, or active layer or organic material than cathode. This is the binding structure. Okay, we have to apply bias like this way and light will be illuminated through the anode layer. Okay, and but uh, this is a very simple process. But we have to apply the um, apply the uh, power supply. For this, the dry, complex driver circuit is required. Power set. Once you apply the power supply, then you can get the light. Okay. So for each pixel, you have to apply the separate separate power supply. So if nine pixels are there, you have to apply nine different power supplies. Okay. Power source you have to give. So that's why the driver circuit is complex and this is the high power consumption. High power consumption. Main advantage is that the circuit is simple, but uh, disadvantages are the driver circuit is complex and the uh, high power consumption is there. But in a, nowadays, you have to uh, design such technology which can give the low power consumption. So, due to the high power consumption, next uh, OLED uh, was designed that is the active matrix OLED. Okay, this is the active, active matrix OLED. Active matrix OLED. So, uh, for case of the passive matrix, the entire structures, the entire structure that uh, forms uh, pixel, different nine pixels, right? Uh, but in case of the active pixel, active matrix. So, active matrix that is mainly used for large area and high resolution applications. Display application, large area and high resolution display application. Okay, so in this case, 
what will happen in this case so first is the anode layer right so anode so anode material okay that is designed by thin film transistor okay that is designed by thin film transistor okay uh, and this is uh, in the matrix form the structure is in the matrix form thin film transistor transistor is mainly used to give the amplifier uh, signal okay to uh, to give the constant power supply here tra thin film transistor is used as a anode so what kind of the material will use that i will discuss now okay so suppose uh, this antenna is the anode layer so this is the transistor thin film circuit okay transistor is uh, the, this is called the uh, material one material is the the material enter this enter is the anode layer thin film transistor which structure is related to the matrix structure okay the enter is the anode layer so already the matrix structures are formed inside the anode layer okay i uh, we have to deposit the organic layer uh, followed by the uh, uh, cathode material okay above this we can deposit Four different kind of the organic material. Above the uh, matrix form of uh, uh, matrix from the anode layer, we can deposit different different organic uh, semiconductors. Right? It's up to you. If you want to uh, create only single light OLED, uh, so you, you, you can deposit only the single uh, organic semiconductor. Right? So uh, the structure is the large area. So you can choose a large area thin film transistor as an anode. So above this large area, you can deposit different multiple organic semiconductors. Uh, for different different pixels so this is a ana, one pixel okay this is another pixel this is this one is another so my, i can see four pixels are there for four, four different colors okay so again above which i have to deposit the cathode material okay above which again i have to deposit the cathode material okay if you see the vertical structure same thing anode organic material and then cathode material same if you see from a vertical point of view you can see that this structure and not uh, organic semiconductor multiple organic semiconductors and the uh, cathode layer okay so that in what is the difference between that passive matrix in the passive matrix the entire structure and the structure that is forming the pixel uh, different pixels right but in case of the active matrix already the pixels are formed inside the anode layer okay so this anode the tft anode tft anode is con continuously giving the power supply to the entire oled okay the continuously giving the power supply to the oled and for that we can get constant efficiency constant efficiency right and then the PFT that is formed by the indium gallium zinc oxide amorphous type indium gallium zinc oxide this is the amorphous type okay so uh, and above this uh, this is acting as an anode above this you can uh, de deposit multiple organic materials and then multiple uh, and then cathode cathode may be aluminium or silver right so uh, this the so uh, so tft this is giving the constant power supply so less power consumption but in this case um, that is the high cost processing because the it is required uh, much more time or much more complex uh, uh, cost more cost to design the thin film transistor so it is the high processing cost by low power consumption and if we see the electrical optical property it can give the high resolution and the high efficiency constant efficiency so there are more OLEDs uh, are available in the market main two are the active matrix and the passive matrix okay next is the inverted next is the inverted OLED so inverted OLED uh, that is uh, 
uh, that is opposite to the um, active matrix solid. Okay, in particular, in case of the active, uh, active matrix solid, we use uh, the thin film transistor uh, as an anode. Okay, but for case of the inverter, that is the inversion of the normal OLED. So, for in this case, uh, in case of the normal OLED, normal an anode is acting as a bottom electrode, right? For in this case, uh, cathode is acting as a bottom electrode. Okay, and this will be designed by thin film transistor, right? This will be designed by, so here, you see the cathode then organic material then anode okay and light will be passed through the cathode material this is the opposite version of the normal OLED, right so the, the light will pass through the cathode material and then this will be in the form of the tft so in case of the cathode we can use the normally amorphous silicon amorphous silicon for giving the high mobility high mo mobility electrode Right? So this is about the inverted OLED and the inverted OLED is used in few applications but it is the cost effective. Okay, it is cost effective as compared to the active matrix OLED but it has few applications. Next is the uh, transparent OLED. Next is the transparent OLED. So if you see the name, the transparent OLED, that means all the materials, all the materials should be transparent. Whatever materials are used in this OLED, all the materials should be transparent. Okay. So here it is suppose an anode. OS1, OS2 and cathode. Okay. Each and every layer. Each and every layer should be transparent for this case right so all the layer should be transparent why you can use such kind of a transparent OLED smart window in case of smart window we can use the transparent OLED right the structure is also simple and then if you see the fabrication concept it is also simple and give them high efficiency and high contrast ratio and uh, what kind of the material normally used for transparent OLED? Uh, metal oxide, uh, this is not a metal oxide nanocomposite. Okay, uh, nanostructure based organic semiconductor. Based organic semiconductor. Multiple metal and oxide, metal oxide and the different organic semiconductor or may organic may semiconductor based composite uh, material you can use for giving for getting the transparent layer. Uh, also, you can use the different kind of the nanostructure based organic material because you want to design such kind of the transparent OLED. So, each and every layer should give the high transparent. conductivity okay these two properties are mainly required so we have to choose such materials in such a way that those properties should be available high transparency and the high conductivity so different uh, composite you can design and different nanostructure material you can choose for getting the uh, but the organic compound should be there as you are designing the organic light emitting diode transparent organic light emitting diode Next is the stack. Stack OLED. Okay. So stack OLED is mainly used for full color display. Full color display like TV application. Okay. So stack OLED means uh, here I am drawing the structure. Anode. This is stack uh, 1. Step two, step three. Okay, and this is the cathode. So this give light one wavelength, one light. This will give the lambda two wavelength. This will give the lambda three wavelength. So you can get the multiple colors from the same OLED. Okay, this is the stack OLED. You can get the multiple colors from the 
सेम हो रहा है बट यू टू चूज द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द स्टैक्स एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द मेटेरियल सपोज वी फॉर डिजाइन इन द थ्री स्टैक सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू चूज द सिक्स ऑर्गेनिक मेटेरियल्स ऑन द मेटेरियल्स फॉर गेटिंग द स्टैक कॉल सो व्हाई इट इज व्हाई यू कैन यूज द टीबी एप्लीकेशन यू कैन यूज फुल कलर डिस्प्ले दैट मींस यू कैन गेट द मल्टीपल कलर फ्रॉम 400 नैनोमीटर टू 700 नैनोमीटर बाय पुटिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक सेमीकंडक्टर वन बाय वन on the top of the one so that's why the name is the stair collet so the main stair is a high stability high stability high efficiency and cool color high cool color depth okay high stability high efficiency and high cool color depth these are the advantages uh, for uh, stack oled right so similar to stack oled another oled is that that is the uh, white oled okay so for white oled um, white oled okay so white oled mean which can give the uh, full color display means it can be multiple color red blue yellow green But white oled means the wavelength of the white oled that is 400 to 700 nanometer visible light. Okay, so this white oled is already commercialized, which can be replaced the fluorescent lamp. Okay, so which can replace the fluorescent lamp, right? Uh, so for that. Uh, you have to uh, yes, normally RGB right red, green and blue. These three emitters should be there inside the white OLED. Okay, these three emitters should be there red, green and blue. These three emitters should be there inside the white OLED. So for getting three emitter, you have to choose uh, the double stack or the triple stack uh, layers. Okay, you have to choose double stack or triple stack layer. So one will give the red uh, light, uh, blue light, and the green light. So it's like a almost stack OLED, but in stack OLED you can put multiple stacks, right? More than three uh, stacks for getting different uh, colors, right? Multiple colors. Uh, for in this case of the uh, white OLED, only uh, red, green, blue. These three emitters should be there. So for that you have to choose the double layer stacks or triple layer stacks. That right? is the white OLED. So it is already replaced the fluorescent lamp in market. So this is also giving the uh, high resolution, uh, high resolution and the high efficiency nature due to the multiple stacks you are using. Last is the uh, flexible OLED. Last is the flexible or foldable OLED. Okay. So for designing flexible and foldable OLED, so main thing is that you have to choose the flexible or foldable substrate. Okay, substrate means over which you are depositing multiple layers to create the OLED, right? So this should be this should be uh, flexible. Okay, flexible substrate means uh, plastic, cloth, and paper. Okay, these are the flexible style substrate, right? So you can easily integrate different organic semiconductor layers with the plastic cloth and paper substrate, right? Where you can use normally the foldable watch, smart watch. Okay, flexible display system. Any kind of the flexible display systems. You can use a flexible or uh, foldable OLED, right? So um, main thing is that you have to choose organic semiconductor and cathode. These are common for all the OLEDs. If you choose the flexible OLED or the normal OLED, but main thing is that how what kind of the substrate you have to choose for uh, getting the flexible uh, substrate, right? Uh, so plastic means plaid. You can use plaid. Okay. 
another thing is that so normally you can uh, choose a uh, normal kind of the cloth you can choose the simple cloth and above the cloth you have to the transparent cloth you have to choose and above the cloth you have to deposit one material that is the transparent conducting anode transparent conducting anode okay transparent conducting anode. you have to choose such kind of the material which can give the uh, which should have the high conductivity uh, and the high transparency and high transparency okay so uh, the graphene and graphene oxide carbon nanotubes and the different kind of the paroscape film can be used for transferring conducting anode apart from this conducting polymer that is the p dot tss this is the one of the most com uh, popular transparent conducting film. Okay, so you can deposit the period pieces over the any cloths. And apart from this, what I told graphene oxide, graphene, and the carbon nanotube. This material we can use for transparent conducting anode. And above this, you can deposit different kind of the organic semiconductor layers based on the what kind of the wavelength you want to get, right? And apart from this, apart from carbon nanotube, graphene, graphene oxide, or period pieces, different kind of the metallic nanowire. Metallic nanowire are used now in days. Different kind of the silver nanowires, the, um, gold nanowire. Uh, nano wire and nano rod such kind of the uh, film you can use as a transferring conducting anode for getting the flexible OLED right so you can choose the normal paper and above the, the this should be the transparent or transparent cloth so above this you can uh, deposit such kind of the uh, transparent conducting film and you can get the flexible OLED and this is the uh, another point uh, the main advantages are there high flexibility uh, and the high conductivity and apart from this low resistance and the low permeability so uh, nowadays normally this flexible and or foldable OLED is the most common OLED uh, for in the field of the different display and lighting applications so these are about the types of the OLED next class I will discuss about the fabrication steps and what kind of the fabrication procedure we have to use for designing the organic light emitting diode thank you